Hey everybody, welcome back to Living Between Paychecks Kitchen, or more like Living Between Paychecks Grill because I'm continuing with the grilling. Today we're going to do some chicken legs, and they're going to come out juicy, and they're going to come out perfect. But first, let's get into seasoning them. I'm going to try something new, so let's get into that. Alright, here's the chicken we're going to be working with. It's about four and a half pounds at a dollar a pound, so it's only four fifty, four sixty. Pretty good deal. And we have our seasonings. I'm going to be doing our seasoning a little bit different. Instead of pouring it on the chicken, I'm going to be putting it in a... Uh, in a bowl and rolling the chicken in it. We're gonna see how that works out. So let's go ahead and uh, get started on the seasoning. All right, so the first seasoning we have up is our Williams Food Co. Rib Chickler for pork and chicken. This stuff is nice and sweet. I'm gonna add two tablespoons of it. All right, there we go. Next, we're gonna have one tablespoon of chili powder, one tablespoon of garlic, a half tablespoon of onion powder, a half teaspoon of ground cumin. Cumin's really strong, you don't want too much and a teaspoon of coarse black pepper. And we just mix it up. All right, I'm gonna add another tablespoon of the rib chicken. And that should hopefully be enough. If not, we'll just add more as we go. Hopefully this experiment works out. All right, now let's get the seasoning the chicken. All right, so let's go ahead and see how this goes. I'm just gonna go ahead and pick up the chicken as much as I don't want to. And we're just gonna dip it in the seasoning. And let it roll around. Actually, you know what? A plate would work even better. Hold on, I'll be right back with a plate. All right, round two, I got a plate. So let's go ahead and just drop the chicken in here. Roll it around. Get it as seasoned as we possibly can. And put it back over off the side. I guess this is more a more effective way of easily and evenly coating your seasoning. You can more evenly coat your chicken with your seasoning of choice using this method versus, you know, just straight up pouring it on there. All right, now as effective as this method is, it does have a downside. You have to use all of your seasoning here. You can't like save any for later. It has to all get used because it's contaminated with the bacteria that was on the chicken. And as most of us know, hopefully all of us know, is chicken has a lot of bad stuff on it that you have to make sure you cook off. All right, so here we are, perfectly seasoned chicken. There's a nice coating on all sides, completely surrounding the meat. Now that the seasoning is done, we need to wrap up the chicken and put it in the fridge, let it sit for about 12 to 24 hours, maximum, 24 hours maximum, and then we're gonna take it out and cook it. All right, so just like with the other things you grilled, we have a charcoal off to the side. I put about a medium, the smallest medium sized pile over there in the corner. You don't really need a whole bunch. And I already have it doused in lighter fluid, so it's setting right now. And then we have our grill grate, which I just sprayed down with oil. Be sure to oil your grate ahead of time. If you oil it while it's on the pit, it's just going to catch on fire. and It's going to be a pain in the ass to deal with. Now, the reason you oil it is to preserve it, keep it clean, and so your food doesn't stick when you're cooking. Because one of the worst things that could happen is, well, your food will stick and tear apart when you're trying to move it around. All right, so let's go ahead and get our fire lit. We're using matches here. It's not too exciting. And just drop that in between. Did it catch? Yes, it caught. And eventually that'll spread through all the charcoal, but we'll go ahead and let it get hot and we'll come back when the charcoal's ready. All right, so I'm at about my limit of patience for waiting on the charcoal. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add the chicken. Here it is after sitting in the fridge for a little while. And we're just like with the other things we've grilled, I'm just gonna put it off the side up here. Not directly over the fire, at least not yet. It'll be a little bit, if we even get to that point. Just spread them out evenly. Alright, so yeah, once all your chicken is placed, go ahead and let it sit for five minutes and put the lid on it and let it get all smoked up. Make sure you have your uh, holes open too, by the way. Alright, it's been five minutes. Now I'm going to go ahead and flip the pieces because I sure as hell know they ain't done. This is necessary mainly because yes, the heat does envelop and wrap completely around the chicken, but it is warmer on the bottom so the top doesn't cook as quickly. So to even things out, you flip them over. Okay, so now that our chicken's flipped over, we're gonna go ahead and put the lid back on and uh, let it go for another five minutes with the hole still open. 
All right, it's been about uh, it's been about ten minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and check the temperature on the chicken. If I can remember what hands, but dominant hand here. We have to make sure not to poke the bone because we're gonna get false readings if we poke the bone. Oh, you can't really see it, but it's at 136. We need it to be at uh, 165. So we need to let it sit for a little bit longer. Maybe another 10 or so minutes. But I'm going to go ahead and flip these. Actually, wait a minute. Hold on. I need to check one of these out. One of these closer ones. That's bone. With 36. Temperature's about the same. Alright, so yeah. This tells me I need to give it more time. I'm going to go ahead and flip them one more time, and then we'll just let it sit for another 10 minutes. Chicken requires patience. It doesn't cook fast like steak does. At least not with this method. It does not cook fast. But you want it safe and done right rather than fast and burnt. Alright, so it's been about 10 more minutes. The chicken's at about 150 degrees, so it's getting close to that done point. Now, before we get there, we want to go ahead and put our barbecue sauce on. Reason Sweet Baby Ray's. That's just what we have on hand. But I have no real barbecue sauce preference. Just use whatever you want. Yeah, so go ahead and coat it. Be sure you get both sides. And let it sit for about 5 or 10 more minutes. But not too long. You don't want your barbecue sauce to actually melt on there. You want it to be a nice glaze, but you don't want it to be completely dried out. Alright, so yeah, we'll cut back when this is done. Alright, so here's the chicken. Wait, all right, so here we go, all sauced up. Let's go ahead and let it sit for about five minutes and pull it off because it's pretty much done by this point. Now, as a reminder, the temperature aiming for is 165. This is not quick. This takes about 30 minutes to do. All right, so yeah, here we go. This is the finished product. The uh, seasoning I used was sweet and the sauce I used was sweet, but you can make it spicy if you want. This takes a little while, but not too terribly long. Um, it came out really juicy. It was nice and tender and it's super easy to eat. Also, it looks really good. And so, yeah, there you go. Barbecue grilled chicken. Hope you like it. it. It's not really that hard to make. It just takes a little bit of time and patience. Um, you can use, so about the seasoning, you can use whatever seasonings you want. I just go with this seasoning setup. This is, but I use pretty much everything, just with some minor variation. You can use whatever barbecue sauce you want, if you even want barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce is completely optional, but I think it kind of belongs a little bit, since barbecue chicken. Um, you can even make your own homemade sauce. Maybe we'll do that at some point. So yeah, go ahead and thanks for watching. You can catch us here Tuesdays and Fridays. And you also catch us on Facebook and Instagram at Living Between and Living Between Jake's Kitchen. I'm talking really fast because the camera battery is getting low. So yeah, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.